To do directional topo cloning in Seek Builder, there are just three simple steps you need to take. The first step is to select the sequence you want to use as an insert. So I'm going to click on this feature here, and that selects its corresponding sequence. The second step is to create a directional topo insert from the selected sequence so that it's ready to take part in a topo cloning reaction. So to do that, I'll go to cloning, create directional topo insert. And what Seek Builder is going to do here is extract the sequence we selected and simulate its amplification using a forward strand primer with the four additional bases CACC. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, a new cloning project has automatically been created for us. The new directional topo insert is displayed here within the inserts folder. And the directional topo cloning advisor dialog is displayed. And that brings me to the third step, which is to select the linearized topo vector I want to use. Now, the vectors that are listed here are coming from the vectors catalog that's installed with your software. And these all already have the 5 prime G T G G overhang and the blunt 3 prime end, which is necessary for the directional topo cloning reaction. Now, if you want to use a vector that's not within the catalog, you can create a custom topo vector from your own sequence. And there's actually a shortcut you can use to do that. And I'm going to show you how to do that quickly before I finish creating this clone. So to create a custom topo vector for your project, just open the sequence you want to use, highlight the portion of the sequence you want to use as a vector, and here's where the shortcut comes in. If you're using Windows, hold down the Alt key, and if you're using a Mac, hold down the Option key. While you're holding down that key, click and hold on the cloning menu, and then select Create Directional Topo Insert. And what that will actually do while you're holding down the shortcut key is to use your selected sequence to create a linearized topo vector with the appropriate 5 prime overhang and 3 prime blunt end, and it will put it in your vectors folder for your project. And you can also see that when you open up the Directional Topo Cloning Advisor, you can see it's already selected here for us, and it's listed above the vectors from the vector catalog. So I'm going to go ahead and select a vector from the catalog, and then I can click the Clone button. And what that will do is combine the two sequences and create a topo clone, and that's automatically displayed here for me. And I can also now see that in the clones folder of my project. If you have further questions about directional topo cloning in Seek Builder, or any other questions about our software, please visit our website at dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.